Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today in Shop Eco in Walkerville in Windsor, Ontario, where I live with Elizabeth Bassett, who is an Hello. amazing makeup artist. And I'm Thank so excited you. to be here today. And we're gonna be doing like a natural, glowy, fresh makeup look using some natural organic makeup. And I'm super excited because I've been all about the natural life lately. And Elizabeth is gonna tell us a little bit more about that. So whenever you're ready, we can awesome. get started. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so, so excited to be here. Um, I am one of our makeup artists, as um, she mentioned, here at Shop Eco. Um, at Shop Eco, we are a small local business that celebrates uh, clean beauty products. Uh, we do a lot of work behind the scenes uh, to make our clients feel comfortable when they come to us they know that they can pick anything up off the shelves um, and we've done our homework for them so um, there's a lot right now in the beauty world that can be very deceiving for people mm -hmm. um, there are no regulations on marketing so sometimes when we see the word all natural um, it can be you know easy to pick those things up so what we do here is we really look at ingredients um, versus you know that's a different realm than animal testing altogether mm -hmm. um, and we want women to be able to use makeup and skincare without you know harming themselves day to day so um, today as um, you mentioned we're gonna just focus on creating a really nice look for the summertime um, my philosophy is you know less is more and just skin so we're gonna be uh, celebrating that today um, though this is not uh, a skincare consult we do skincare consults here as well as makeup um, I always start uh, off with skincare because mm -hmm. it's important uh, to have that canvas perfected ahead of time mm -hmm. Your skin is flawless. Thank you. I did some homework and I know that you love rose water. So I do. I've got a couple of that in the lineup. Um, do you have anything on your skin currently? Um, I just have a little bit of the Glow Recipe uh, Serum right okay, now. Perfect. But I put it on about 45 minutes ago, an hour ago. So. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to have you close your eyes. Sure. We're going to go in with a toner. Um, I love this toner. It's by Indy Lee. Um, a couple great benefits in this one. Uh, one of my favorite ingredients being hyaluronic acid. Um, if you know anything about that, you know with uh, just a moisture binding ingredient. So great to prep the skin with. Um, next, we're going to go in with um, a radiance firming serum. So this one again has that secret ingredient of the hyaluronic acid. Um, this is by a company called Shafe and um, the vitamin C. So uh, I think we're the same age, 30? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So <laughs> we understand that um, at this age, preventative skincare is super important. Vitamin C is an amazing product, especially when we're talking about brightening the skin. So this is something you can use during the day. Okay. Um, the consistency is very, very wet. So mm -hmm. I find that when we're talking about creating a nice base for the skin, um, this is, does a lot of the work for us. Um, my next favorite, favorite, um, and when you described your skin, would you say like you get oily through the day or whereabouts like in the T-zone area? I would say that uh, definitely in the T-zone. I have combination skin, normal to combination, or okay. yeah, normal to oily, so combination skin. So definitely in the T-zone area, I'm noticing it more in my nose area that everything's sliding off. Yeah, Everything else is fine. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm similar in the sense that I definitely have that. So um, it's all about balancing. Um, what I really, really love, um, and it's kind of been a big thing, Thing. Uh, Indie Lee, the Squalian oil. This is a wonderful, wonderful facial oil because it's a non greasy approach, but mm -hmm. we're hydrating the skin. Um, I slap this stuff on morning and night. Um, what I like about it, there's no scent to it, it's light. Um, you can throw it in, you can mix it in with your products. Um, any excess can go like on your neck or even the ends of your hair. So Amazing. it's really, really multifunctional. And even for you know people that do have a little bit more combo skin. So it's just a dropper form and I just usually do you know two or three drop. Mm -hmm. um, certainly the product goes quite far. And yeah, you're just gonna apply it as you would a moisturizer. So what this is doing, it's replacing um, a cream. Mm -hmm. And I always think about with skincare and makeup, like our skin, always needs new things because if we constantly give it the same thing over and over, um, it's the idea of we, we would never want to eat the same thing over right. and over, right? So trying out new things is great. Um, again, being ladies entering our 30s, an eye cream is so important. And I think I read one of your posts that you mentioned about eye creams and you're like, I take it back. Because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so 
I was kind of in the same boat. Mm -hmm. um, I discovered this one about a year ago. It's by Fit Glow. It's amazing. It's called IC Firm. So um, what this one focuses in on is not only firming, which is great for around like your wrinkles and your laugh lines um, as well, um, but it's also brightening. So I find if you're doing this step of skincare, you might as well make sure it does both things. And you'll notice I'm doing this very gently. We don't want to be tugging at the skin. So typically, I'm just working inside, and when you're doing it at home, you can go right around that orbital bone there. So what age would you recommend people start with eye creams? Honestly, ladies, if you are like even your like mid-20s, I just feel like the skin is so different and delicate around the eye area mm -hmm. um, that it's never too early. I think that's one of those things that at least for me, I noticed was changing the most. Mm -hmm. And uh, and because, you know, um, if there was pre like previous sun damage, mm -hmm. um, hereditary, lack of sleep, like there's so many factors that mm -hmm. are kind of against it. Um, I would say when you look at your skincare, the best things in my opinion to kind of invest your money in are um, going to be your serums and your eye creams, just because like um, they really, really do help to make the difference. So that's an excellent one. Great. Um, now, how do you feel about SPF? Do you use it or do you find that it's in some of your products currently? Or? I just started using SPF. I was very bad with sunscreen before. I, know. I was the kind of person that would put oil on myself and lay outside and try to get as dark as possible. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now I'm more thinking about my skin health and wrinkles and I'm starting to use it more. So. Awesome. So um, with that, a lot of people, we've been in the same boat. So back to the vitamin C, that's why it's such a great product because we do... Um, you know definitely can have dark spots right. um, it's just a great ingredient this is one of my favorite uh, sunscreens um, it's by Constant. they're out of downtown Toronto they're a wonderful skincare company so what I like about this SPF is that it's done by skincare people mm -hmm. so they understand that um, your face you know it's different than lathering on sunscreen everywhere else it's not going to be as greasy as typical sunscreens are um, and it's got some really good ingredients for skin health in it so um, a lot of people find for summer because they want like a little bit of like less is more look they do jump to this um, so we're gonna actually yeah we'll do this one here um, and what we'll do there's a little bit of a tint to it which is nice so you can typically just do like a pump or two depending um, and it's the same thing like you do want to be reapplying if you're gonna be outside all day but mm -hmm. for the most part if you can just get in the habit of you know rocking an SPF day to day mm -hmm. um, it just helps um, the skin of course and that would be a perfect item to take like if you're going on vacation exactly and... it's so so nice and mm -hmm. actually the company makes a little travel size one as well which is cute um and the name the perfect sunscreen they certainly you know receive that for a reason um you'll notice that i did bring it up closer to the eye area typically we never bring sunscreen to the eye area because it would traditionally burn our eyes because things like hawaiian tropic or brands like that are very very fragrant and you know you can feel once it like starts get to getting here that like eyes can be irritated so with mineral based sunscreens like this one um you know feel free and safe to bring it right up um and again when you're looking at mineral sunscreens a lot of them can be kind of whitening due to the zinc but um, this one is so well balanced so that's why I like to reach for it so um, the last part of like the skincare regimen that I love um, you'll hear me talk a lot about Fitco they're an amazing brand that Shopico has worked closely with over the years um, they're definitely the masters of skincare but what they've done is they've managed to put skincare into their cosmetics so it's incredible um, they have lip serums which they're my favorite anyone that knows me knows that I always have like Ficlo lip serums everywhere but recently they launched a new one that it's a night serum so um, what this product is designed for it's a little heavier but you will put it on at bedtime if you're someone that likes gloss like I'm you know I've got it on now just for daytime so usually what I'll do is when I start my makeup I just like to throw a little bit of this on because there's nothing worse than when you do your makeup and like there's foundation on your lips and you're feeling really pale so yes. um, I'm just gonna throw this on sure. here um, I love that again this one is specific for just taking care of your lips at night mm -hmm. um, I find that lips can be really um, you know neglected sometimes even with that squalane oil though that I was talking about that's lovely to just like run right over your lips so um, so yeah that kind of concludes skincare um, so we're gonna jump into the fun part the makeup um, so this is definitely and I think when I was you know, looking at your videos, this is something that you would absolutely love. Um, this is uh, a tinted illuminated primer. So this kind of fits in between the world of 
skincare and makeup. Um, it is um, it can be worn a couple ways. You can wear it alone on the skin, just mm -hmm. so um, I find it pairs really nicely with that tinted uh, sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Or you can wear it as a primer under a foundation. So primers, as we know, they you know keep the makeup in place longer. Mm -hmm. um, but this one, because it's a glow, it just brings like this beautiful radiance to the skin. Um, Graydon is out of I believe Kitchener, Ontario, um, and this is a plant-powered uh, skincare line. So again, they do skincare. They don't do cosmetics. So this is kind of like their bonus, but if anyone knows me around Shop Pico, they know I'm like the face glow gal because <laughs> like I just, I love selling this to people. So it's a cream um, consistency, like a moisturizer. So depending, you know, a pump and a half is, is usually enough. So if you open and you like turn this way and look in the mirror, you'll notice that there's like just this beautiful little bit of reflect going on. Natural highlight. Yeah, and if, and, um, you know, even those days if you have excess, you can bring it down on your decollete or even your shoulders. It looks excellent in photographs. Um, okay, so now we're going to get into um, foundation. So um, when I talk about summer, I find that uh, none of us, especially living in Windsor, it can be very humid. Um, we don't want to have heavy, heavy duty makeup for the most part. For day to day, um, just using something that's going to be light and easy to apply mm -hmm. I think is really quick and, and you know in my opinion a good choice um, I use the word foundation lightly because fit glow is all about celebrating women's skin um, this is for the woman on the go um, and again as I mentioned there's no silicones built in this so you'll find that um, you know this is 95% whole food based um, we've got 98% organic and what's really cool about this we've got our vitamin C um, hyaluronic and beta carotenes built right inside so when we're talking about about um, trying to do skincare and cosmetics, this is amazing. So um, you know that what you're putting on your skin, a lot of my clients find that their skin does better with this foundation. Typically foundation is known to like break us out. Mm -hmm. um, so I think this will be your color. Do you tend to get any darker through the summertime? Or I do. Pretty? Okay. I tan very easily. So um, the way that I like to apply this and um, it's funny because I know you work with a bl beauty blender a mm -hmm. lot and I'm definitely like was all about the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, use it all the time. Um, but then I found this brush, and this is the Fit Glow Foundation Brush. So this is made to kind of go with the product. Um, it's extremely soft, you can feel it. Oh, yeah, it's called um, the Teddy Foundation Brush, so it's very, very soft. Um, and it's really easy for people to use. Um, sometimes people think that tools slow down the process, but in reality, um, it keeps you know your hands clean. It can just, you know, you really get into it. So the way that I like to apply this is I just pump pump the foundation directly onto the product here. I'm just gonna start in the center of the face. Mm -hmm. Reason being, as women, we typically hold most of our redness um, and blemishes through this part. Um, there's not a lot of sense in starting the concentration of the product in the chin or the forehead. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> and, and sometimes, you know, there's so many different uh, like points to get to the same destination with makeup, but um, I just find that I work in panels of the face. I'm just gonna leave open and we're gonna turn this that way. It's a really nice match. Um, typically, we're gonna do some under eye work concealing. Mm -hmm. um, I always say with concealers, like, let your concealers do the job that they're meant for. Um, foundation's job isn't to, you know, completely conceal everything. Mm -hmm. When we start using foundations to um, eliminate dark circles or blemishes, that's when we can look really heavy and cakey. Mm -hmm. So just like think of foundation as just like that nice little soft application, especially your skin, you take good care of it. So. Um, um, so usually what I do is we're not going to bring it right up under the eye. I'm going to let the concealer do the work for that. Okay. Perfect. So I just kind of even this all out. So it's a very nice skin-like coverage. Like mm -hmm. you could run out the door and, you know, your skin absolutely flawless like that. And you'll notice with this type of product, again, because there's no... Um, silicone in it, it's going to take a minute to absorb in your skin. What it's what we've put on are some really great ingredients and your skin is like, wow, this is something new. It wants to absorb it. It wants those that nutrient. So, so would you recommend giving it a couple minutes before putting any powders on so it's not patchy? Yeah, I would say um, the rule um, that I kind of, you know, go by is cream to cream, powder to powder. So okay. um, we're going to be working in cream-based products today. Uh, it's one of my favorites and I think that that, um, I know that you know 
uh, we're going to still work with powders, but in a really strategic way. So mm -hmm. um, when we get to the point of, um, you know, wanting to set everything down, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that we're done using anything creamy or emollient. So that's a good thing to go by. Okay. Um, so I'm super, super pumped today to you're kind of like getting a special sneak peek of a new product that doesn't even is not even on our shelves yet. Um, Ficlo Beauty is going to be launching some color concealers and correctors. Amazing, the company has sent us the four colors um, for us as a staff to test out, to give feedback, um, but I got the okay to use it on Amazing. you today. Um, the one that I chose to use today actually is the peach color. Um, this one is actually like a really nice kind of pastel-y peach, so it's nothing too orange, um, but um, it's gonna really help to cancel out, like you're kind of between blue and purple tones, mm -hmm. so using either yellow or peaches would work for you. Um, but I think this one is just gonna blend in really nicely these are super super creamy um, their concealers I love because they're packed with like nutrients they've got caffeine in them they've got vitamin K like things that are not just gonna mask the issue that they're gonna help so um, when I talk about the idea of you know safety versus affordability for the skin or results versus again affordability um, you know sometimes you just have to look at a product and see like maybe it is it can be a little more but is it like it's doing double the work Right. So um, the way that I apply this, actually this is, I've tried it on myself, so this is the first time I'm using it uh, on a client, but um, these are, it, it's really, these are great to travel with, it's a little doe foot applicator, um, so the way that you can use this, if this was your tube, is you could just draw on mm -hmm. um, and then blend out from there. So okay. for today we're going to use this. Okay. So the way that I'm going to work this, I'm going to have you look all the way up to the sky and just gonna plug the product in. Again, there's many different ways people lay this in, but I like to kind of plug it right along the nose area. I call this the triangle of light. So um, when we want to brighten the under eye area, we want it to be just a little lighter than the skin, um, but nothing dramatic. I mean, again, if you're at an event, very different, but for day-to-day -day, um, summer makeup, just keep it nice and clean. Um, you'll notice that I didn't put the product right in the inner corner of the eye. The reason being is that if the, the product is concentrated there, it's very difficult to blend um, up and down. So okay. it, you can kind of get pooling. So um, what I like to do is, I actually like this brush here. It's by Sappho, which is a Canadian company. Um, and it's their eyeshadow brush. I find that sometimes the concealer brushes can be too like stiff where these ones are like fluffy and they kind of allow to blend out. So okay. I like to start at the base and I just feather this up. So the goal here is to get the product as close to the lash line as possible. And I'll have you close your eye. And again, using a brush, this is great because I'm using the residual product just to bring it right around the lid, which means that there's not gonna be a ton of product, but it's gonna be enough to just kind of cancel out um, like the veins, like we all have that. And that little nook in the corner as well, like that when we're looking at the mirror, we don't see it because, but when others are walking around us 360, we have a natural shadow from our nose. So there's already a little bit of darkness um, right. that we're, you know, that we're working with. Perfect, so that was a very quick step, um, and we can already see that there's definitely a brightness to the Absolutely. eye. Very good. So I know a lot of people will do that huge triangle with concealer. Yes. Is that unnecessary? <laughs> it is very unnecessary. <laughs> um, the, the way that I look at it, I mean, it's hard because we see so much online, and I think that it's okay we're you know just grabbing our information where we can get it. Right. So often when we see like so much product, um, it breaks down, it'll build, like, they're just, it, it can get messy. Yeah. So my philosophy has always been less is more, especially in your case. You do not need, like, your texture is gorgeous. So, um, so we're gonna go back to this side. So again, we're gonna just strike that through here. And we have you look up. So we're gonna just uh, blend out from the base using that feathering motion. And feel free, like you can, if you do have a blemish, um, certainly you can use these correctors um, in those spots. So correctors um, are absolutely not always needed. Um, if you're looking to reduce your steps, I would say probably it's just best to get the concealer and then maybe add a corrector in later. Um, the Ficlo um, uh, concealers are one of my favorite, favorite products. I find often in the summertime too, um, a lot of women can get away with like using that tinted sunscreen, the face glow, and even just a little bit of
concealer. So these are great. They fit. They travel easily. It's the same system, so it's going to be the doe foot applicator, um, which you can draw on the face and blend out from there. Um, I always just say rule of thumb is that you don't want to really erase the under eye because it can start looking like again like not overly natural um, a little bit yeah, yeah. so um, I'm gonna apply this the exact same way as I did the corrector in that kind of triangle of light so I'm gonna have you look up again and I'm just plugging this in I'm not gonna put too too much if I was just using this on its own I might put more but because we have that corrector underneath um, again less is more we don't want heavy layers under the eye I have these little lines under my eyes and the makeup always settles in them. What would you recommend for that? Well, setting powders are going to be key for that. Um, typically a translucent setting powder that's really finely milled for the under eye area. Okay. Um, the other thing is that um, it's important to use your eye creams because um, sometimes when the under eye can get dry, um, things can start like you know falling into those. So that's why I always say morning, day and night for the eye creams. Okay. I'm just gonna be close. So I'm just gonna do that same thing where I'm just swinging the product along. And then, you know, again, feel free to use this product in spaces that, you know, you do wanna see like a touch more coverage. Um, because this is a little lighter, you can, you know, put this in the pops of the face like that inner core. Mm -hmm. um, and then also use it for, um, you know, blemishes if need be. So at this point we have worked on the complexion in the sense of um, you know really uh, creating a skin-like finish with this foundation. We've used a corrector and a concealer mm -hmm. um, and again this could be used you know you could be ready to go at this point in time. Mm -hmm. um, so the next thing that uh, we are going to reach for is we're going to add some dimension back to the skin in the sense of um, putting in our bronzers, our blushes and highlights. Um, so typically there's a few things if you're not someone to want to do all those steps I usually say go right to like a highlighter um, oftentimes when we use a highlighter in certain places it's going to make your other parts of your face stand out um, the reason that I don't typically suggest powdering your whole face is because our face can become very one-dimensional so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the bronzer these are super cool they are um, also by fit glow beauty typically when I use this product at home I use my stippling brush and I just stamp right into the product um, I've taken this out uh, for today's demonstration but they're really really quick and easy to use and they're easy to travel with. Um, so with um, cream based products the way that you know you want to apply them you can use your fingertips but I find a stippling brush is amazing. The reason being is stippling brushes aren't dense so they're only going to pick up just a touch of product. Um, so as you can see if you can see that there but it's only picking up it's like hollowed out. Okay. Okay, so stippling brushes are amazing. I don't feel like they get enough credit. This one is by RMS Beauty and it's excellent. So the way that I'm gonna work this, we're not really gonna get into too much contouring. This is more just like a blown out, um, like, you know, beachy look. Okay. Um, so we're gonna put this on the face uh, where the high points are, where the sun would naturally hit. Um, so the way that I do this is I just let the brush do the work. So I'm just gonna feather this back into place and let the brush do the work. It's, it's very, very quick and easy. Typically when people are starting new products, I always say, you know, by you know, a few days, you're gonna know exactly like how many stamps you need to mm -hmm. get that look, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you can see already just with that quick little application, what the creams do is that looks like it's coming within. It doesn't look like it's sitting on top. So we'll leave it out there and typically I tend to go back but I just wanna see how um, the blush is setting as well. Um, so the blush that I'm using is the Joy Blush uh, by Fit Glow as well. It's a really, really beautiful like kind of Orally, there's a little bit of reflect and highlight in this so this is often if you don't have time maybe for your highlighter um, you can kind of get away with this as well um, with blush the way that I work it I'm gonna use that same uh, brush that we've been using don't feel that you need to clean this because you want all the colors to be like blending together okay um, the blushes I will say are a little bit more pigmented believe it or not than the bronzer so um, I just kind of like to go easy on that and then build up from there. 
blush, I like to put it a little higher up. Um, sometimes if we go like right in the apple of the cheek, it can kind of actually pull the face down a little bit. So we still want to stay youthful, but by putting like almost laying your bronzer, blush and highlight, moving upwards can really have a nice effect. So I'm just going to pull this a little higher and we're just going to pop that right in. Uh, these are great because they're all natural. You can throw them on your lips. Uh, they're very cross-functional as well. RMS Beauty makes the lip-to-cheek products, and certainly um, you can, you know, use them. And, and don't be afraid to, like, touch your skin. That's the other thing. Like, when you put it on, you can mm -hmm. certainly blend it in. Okay. But, again, it's really, really subtle. Mm -hmm. You can certainly put more, but... So how are you feeling with Amazing. those Amazing. I think it looks so good. Oh, good. So my next um, favorite thing to talk about is the highlighters. Love a highlight. Mm -hmm. I feel like you like a highlight. I do. Highlighters are amazing, and there's so many of them on the market, and I feel like people can get really intimidated because there are some that are very like chunky that you can see, you know, from space. So I think it's about <laughs> figuring out a highlighter that works for you. Yeah. Um, I pulled today, I really like the RMS Living Luminizer. I talk about it all the time, but I actually pulled the Lumi Firm from Fit Glow. It's amazing. Um, it's like a champagne undertone, so it's great for, you can use it as an eyeshadow as well, really multifunctional. Mm -hmm. um, but it has, again, the name Lumi Firm uh, comes from the firming agents in that. So where we're putting it on the skin, um, there's some really great ingredients inside to actually benefit. So Amazing. I'm going to jump back to using that same brush that I used for your concealer. You don't need a lot of tools. You just, you know, need some couple of them. So what I'm doing is I'm moving up here and I'm just creating this C shape. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you can plug this in again with your finger or you can do it with a brush. Typically, I like to put it in with the brush first and mm -hmm. then just kind of bounce the skin. Um, that is very beautiful. Yeah. I was the kind of person that would wear so much highlight all the time. And then with age, I started realizing that it ages you, especially yeah. with those fine lines. And again, when if it is a powder approach, you're already like, um, you know, putting that powder and dryness on your skin. Where yeah. this again is just making it look like dewy, but um, coming like the glow within. Absolutely. So I'll just have you close your eye. I'm gonna put this right under the brow bone. So that's gonna create a nice lift. And you know what, just so you can see, we'll just throw it on the eyelid as well. Oh, sure. And then of course, I like to tuck it around and bring it in that inner corner of the eye. Um, and then we're gonna go right down the nose. This just helps to define the nose. And then we're going to put this on the Cupid's bow. Sometimes I put a little bit in the chin area. I'm not always need it, but it just kind of brings you that pop. Amazing. So, I love that. I know. It's so pretty. <sighs> Feel free. Like, I usually bring it up right along, like, the temple. Mm -hmm. Because right here, like, the space between your hairline and your brow isn't so big, mm -hmm. I want to put that reflect there. You notice I didn't put a ton of bronzer because where we put darker colors, it recedes the space. Okay. I want to open this up for you. Okay. So that by putting light, um, it's just the basic color theory. You know, when mm -hmm. we want to look thinner, we typically choose to wear black. If we want a room bigger, we paint it white. So. Mm -hmm. Looking glowy, girl. I love it. <laughs> um, so when you know when you do come to Shop Eco, we do the, do the one on one consultation. So typically, we try to teach you how to use your products for mm -hmm. everyday use. So that's also something that um, is really beneficial because for me, it's important that when you bring products home, you know how to use them properly, Absolutely. and they're not. There's nothing worse when you open a drawer and all you see is dollar signs because it's like I've got all these things. So I usually tell women just like. If you're going to start fresh, either, you know, choose to donate your products or likely they may be expired anyhow. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just a way of doing it that way. So now we're going to get into a little bit of the eye work. I'm going to keep it really simple today because, again, um, being that you're just kind of like running out and it's a nice summer day, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to try wow. using an eye polish on you. Okay. Um, eye polishes are really interesting because they're cream based. RMS makes some beautiful ones. I chose the one called Solar for you today That's because beautiful. I just, I like looking at your skin tone and your look. I feel like this is going to go off really, really nicely. Um, these are great products because 
it's like effort blend effortlessly blending like mm -hmm. you can just put them on either with your fingertips or a brush um, and then out the door you go mm -hmm. I will say with cream eyeshadows um, it is important like I usually put my setting powder underneath um, these also work well with traditional eyeshadows as well so you can always put them on as a base and build up but if you're looking for like quick 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 these are great amazing um, so before we do that, I'm going to reach in and we're going to put uh, that powder that I was telling you about into place. So I'm feeling confident now that like your skin under your eye like is ready to be set. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to bring that translucent powder on top before we put the product on. So the key with um, setting your under eye is to make sure before you set it that you haven't creased because if you've creased, then that's what's going to be locked in and we don't want that. Um, RMS Beauty makes some wonderful, wonderful powders. These are basically translucent powders. Um, they are called unpowder for the reason that they don't want to be leaving your skin um, looking heavy. I find that the finish is very satin finish. It's also um, very blurring. So mm -hmm. if you're worried about pores or little lines, you can place these strategically in order to just kind of like mattify where you need them. So these come with a little powder puff we don't have them in here but they're great to just keep in your bag through the day and you can just touch up your forehead. so I'm gonna have you look up and for myself you could totally use this brush um, to you know go back in um, sometimes when we think powder we think like a huge brush mm -hmm. and there's laying it everywhere I tend to like a brush that's a little bit more focused okay. um, and all I'm doing is I'm gonna dip the product in Make sure to tap off a little bit of the excess because these are so finely milled. Um, you you know a lot usually picks up. So I'm just gonna have you look up, and what I'm doing is I'm pressing this in. You'll notice I'm not sweeping it. Um, by pressing it, it's not gonna like disrupt what we've already done. So once you get that in initial press in, then you can kind of move your brush a little bit more. And I'm gonna have you close. And I'm gonna put this all over the eyelid. This is key in keeping the eyelid fresh. Um, everyone has oily eyelids. We don't have pores there. So what happens when makeup breaks down or concealers are moving, oil is building up, it has nowhere to go and it just starts swinging around. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna put this product and you'll see um, just in the center of the forehead. So again, I'm, I'm kind of pressing this in. We are going to start uh, working with the eye area. Um, as I mentioned, we are gonna reach for an RMS eye polish. These are great, especially nice time for summer that you can just kind of throw them on and go. Um, I've chose solar, so we're gonna go in with that. Um, they do make the RMS eye polish brush, but um, any really eyeshadow brush will do. Um, the way that you want to apply this is I usually put, we put the translucent setting powder on first, um, and then typically I like to tap a little bit of either a shadow or um, like a translucent on top just to you know set it in so I'm gonna have you close your eye and all we're doing is I'm just gonna put this really all over the lid I'm not we're not really doing any corrective eye makeup today it's just more so adding a little bit of depth and color so again all I've done is we've just kind of put that through the lid it's very quick but um, it's like it's big results very very quickly um, it kind of takes on it's gold but it almost takes on like a bronzy tone that mm -hmm. it's not too yellowy mm -hmm. sometimes when it's too yellow gold it doesn't look very natural beautiful awesome. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, I love it. And this looks really good too. Like um, you can go in with like a smaller brush, just even for like the lash line underneath. So if you look up, I'm just gonna put this about the outer third. Oh, I love third. that. It's not it just pretty. like pulls it all together. Yes. So when you're doing your lash line, or your lower lash line, mm -hmm. you would recommend just staying in the outer third? I do like that. I find that sometimes when we start like rimming products, it can close up the eye. Um, definitely, you know, sometimes people do the inside waterline. I feel like it's more like an event thing. Mm -hmm. I try to actually encourage people to experiment with brown liners as opposed to black. Um, you know, black I wear as well, but with a color like this and when it's summertime, mm -hmm. brown is really, really pretty. A lot more natural. Yes, exactly. So that was very, very quick, but you can see the payoff is like amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. 
So um, I really love um, Puranata as a Canadian company out of Manitoba. They do um, some skincare, they do um, a few different makeup products, but this is their brown pencil. So it's a really, really nice kind of like chocolatey brown color. Yeah. So you can still get that effect of creating a little bit of depth, but it's not as harsh. Um, this also doubles, it can double depending on your color um, for a brow. Um, you know application as well um, so you can use it in that sense so the way that I like to work with these um, products is I almost just like to tight line like you're just kind of scribbling in mm -hmm. and then you can go in with a you know a brush and almost just kind of smoke it out so okay. now if you close and yeah I'm just focusing this on the outer part as well all this is doing is you have a nice dark eyelashes to begin with so you don't need a whole lot of you know darkening at the base but this just kind of deepens it and these are great too like if you want to add a little bit of depth like if you're you know contouring the eye a little bit mm -hmm. then it definitely can send it there so really really nice adding a brown option into your day-to-day -day, um, is really beneficial so we're gonna go in with mascara typically I say if you're in a rush um, depending on you know you have a really beautiful strong brow a lot of women find like okay if I can only do a couple things a brow is really important so I find that even more so sometimes in mascara, if you have to choose, maybe go for your brow next, but mm -hmm. in this case, we'll just stay in the eye area. Sure. For um, mascaras, mascaras are one of those that in the natural world, um, it does sometimes take some trial and error. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have a really good collection here at Shop Eco. Some of my favorites are the Saflo um, uh, vegan product out of Vancouver. Mm -hmm. um, today I'm using the RMS um, uh, brand, and these are great as well um, but mascara is one of those that I say it, it can be a little bit of like trial and error just because um, everyone's eyes are a little bit different mm -hmm. though I will say that women find that as we get older our eyes get more sensitive and when you look at the ingredients of traditional mascaras which can include things like tar um, by eliminating that around your eyes it really does help the sensitivity I'm gonna choose today to leave um, the bottom lashes free of mascara. Yours are pretty dark, mm -hmm. um, but I find for summer it just kind of again eliminates. We've worked so hard to brighten the under eye mm -hmm. that I don't want to throw a lot of darkness underneath. Okay. Awesome. So our last little bit, um, I would say your brows are quite structured, so you could be ready to go after your lip, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of definition in. Um, the way that I'm gonna do this is actually with a pencil um, and a straight edge brush. So um, using a tool like a brush like this is great because it almost works as a spatula. When we talk about not, um, I try to avoid putting the pencil right on my skin because that can sometimes lead to like a heavy look. So by just using this and kind of coloring the product on, and then if you just look up, all I'm doing is I'm just using the brush and the shape of the brush to like achieve just a little bit more structure. Now we don't have brow gels. It's kind of hard to find brow gels in the all natural world. I'll have mm -hmm. to do more investigating on that. But um, this one is uh, a Lily Low Low product. You can also use a powder, whatever you like from there. So the last piece of the puzzle is adding just a nice pop of lip color. I'm gonna jump back to the Fit Glow lip serums because they're just incredible. Um, one of my favorites, and if you are a client of mine, you likely own Gospel. This is a lovely one for summertime because it's just, it's a nice, um, it's not too corally, it's not too red or berry, it's kind of right in between. So I'm actually going to have you, I just want to have you throw this on sure. so you can feel like the consistency. Um, with this product, it's nice because they're quite sheer that typically you don't end up needing to have a mirror to apply them throughout the day. Mm -hmm. But again, they have um, really beautiful ingredients, including those uh, that plant collagen to help really protect and plump the lips. So, um, but this color, it's just it's lovely. And it's very like nourishing. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it's not tacky like a gloss. Like sometimes people can be a little intimidating based on the texture. Mm -hmm. um, but this one here, I find it's really quite lovely. And last but not least, my favorite thing to do is to jump back to my toner um, and just kind of, I say it marinates everything. So you set it with a toner? I do. I really like doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are makeup, makeup setting sprays, but then you're running the risk of likely what's in there is not so hot so this is really good because again that hyaluronic acid is just going to help to plump the skin and create that nice look
And at this point, if you're feeling like you need more powder in different places, you can certainly go back. Um, but I think for today, like, you look healthy, glowy, everything about this look screams, like, summer and health. So it was lovely, lovely working with you today. You look absolutely gorgeous. How does Thank everything you. feel? It feels so good. Mm -hmm. I love it. Everything just feels, like, healthy and hydrated good. and nourished good. and beautiful. Yay. Thank you so much oh, you're for so this. Welcome. This was so much you fun. Gorgeous. And uh, if you guys want to check out Shop Eco, I will leave everything down below in the description box. I will also leave Elizabeth's information and her website down come below in the description me. box. Yeah, come see her for a makeup consultation. She does an amazing job and thank you so much for watching and until next week. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a good summer <laughs>